Good morning and welcome to the Victorian Remembrance Day service streaming to you from the Shrine of Remembrance, Melbourne. My name is Peter Meehan. Today's service includes both pre-recorded and live elements, so we may continue the unbroken tradition of pausing on this day to remember the service and sacrifice of hundreds of thousands of Australians past and present. Today marks the anniversary of the armistice that ended fighting in the First World War. At 5 a.m. on 11 November 1918, Germany accepted the armistice terms presented by the Allies. The guns on the Western Front fell silent at 11 a.m. the same day. At that moment, four years of continuous warfare at terrible human cost had ceased. Armistice Day, now named Remembrance Day in Australia, commemorates the sacrifices made during all wars from the First World War to the present day. In keeping with tradition, we will stand together as one for one minute silence in reflection at 11 a.m. The Shrine of Remembrance was born out of the grief and losses of the First World War, the loved ones of those who lost their lives in the war had no place to mourn, no grave, no headstone. Their bodies reclaimed by the earth and the sea far away. The shrine was built to be that place, dedicated on Remembrance Day 1934 with more than 300,000 Victorians in attendance. The shrine is testament to how global conflict has shaped our state and our nation. Its purpose now is to honour the service and sacrifice of all Victorians and Australians who have served in war, peacemaking and peacekeeping. This shrine belongs to all Victorians, a living memorial to those who have served in the face of conflict and carry the scars, and to those who love them. Thank you for joining us today to remember those who served, those who sacrificed, those who came home forever changed. This year marked the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. First in Europe, followed by victory in the Pacific. The impact of conflicts, big and small, echo through our community today. 75 years on, we live in a community shaped by those six years of global conflict. Those who were here on the home front experienced massive upheaval. Attacks on Australian soil, the threat of invasion, rapid social change, austerity, internment, discrimination and injustice, all of which have echoed through generations. In the two decades following the end of the Second World War, two million people came to call Australia home. Some displaced, others simply seeking a better life. 75 years ago, as the world welcomed peace, hundreds of thousands of Victorians returned home to their loved ones. Thousands more never made the journey home. In this time of coronavirus, COVID-19, when we have all been separated from our loved ones, we can reflect on those joyful reunions 75 years ago. The relief of having loved ones home, fathers, sisters, brothers, husbands, sons and daughters, all. And the heartaching loss for those whose loved ones boarded ships, trains and planes, some to serve here at home, others half a world away, never, never to return. We, all of us, enjoy a life of relative peace, hard won by the men and women of the Australian Defence Force. 
We remember the service and sacrifice of more than 400,000 Victorians who have served and who continue to serve our nation. They have served us for more than 100 years. We honour their love of country, sense of duty and courage in difficult times. In today's service, Her Excellency, the Honourable Linda Dessau, Governor of Victoria, will lay a wreath at the Shrine of Remembrance on behalf of the people of Victoria. The ode will be recited by current serving members of the Australian Defence Force and veterans of war and peacekeeping missions from the Second World War to the present day. Bugle calls and gunfire will bookend the beginning and end of the minute's silence when the beam of sunlight enters the shrine's inner sanctuary to illuminate the inscription on the Stone of Remembrance. The last post will be played by buglers across the city in unison with our service. The Australian National Anthem will be played before the Governor presents the Remembrance Day Address. In Flanders Fields will be recited by Shrine Young Ambassador Liana Henderson Dreyf. This poem was written by a Canadian medical officer, Colonel J.M. McRae. During the First World War, he did not live to see the war's conclusion. The poem is recited each year by a Victorian school student to symbolise the connection between those who sacrificed their lives and the future for which they were fighting. It is our honour to also feature ex-Audi Youth Choir, who will sing Going Home. Her Excellency, the Honourable Linda Dessau, Governor of Victoria, will arrive shortly. The Shrine Guard will now take post. Her Excellency the Governor of Victoria is now arriving and will be greeted by a representative of the Shrine of Remembrance.
The Governor will now lay a wreath at the Shrine of Remembrance on behalf of the people of Victoria. For our sailors, they have no grave but the cruel sea, no flowers lay at their head, a rusting hulk is their tombstone, a fast on the ocean bed. To our soldiers, they went with songs to the battle, they were young, straight of limb, true of eyes, steady and aglow, they were stood to the end, against odds uncounted, they fell with their faces to the foe. To our airmen and airwomen, up, up the long delirious burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark or ever eagle flew, and while with silent lifting minds I've trod, the high and trespass sanctity of space put out my hand and touched the face of God. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Lest we forget.
Advance Australia Fair will now be played by the Royal Australian Navy Brass Quintet with vocalist, leading seaman, Tracy Kennedy. It is now time for Her Excellency, the Honourable Linda Dassault, Governor of Victoria, to take her leave. Shrine Guard, dismount. The Governor will now present the Remembrance Day Address, which was pre-recorded at Government House. I start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land from which I'm sending this message, and I pay my respects to Elders past and present. I also acknowledge all the dignitaries and servicemen and women in different parts of our state and beyond, and our veterans, with a special thought to those who served in the Second World War in this the 75th anniversary year, marking the end of that war in Europe and then in the Pacific. Well, today, for the 101st time since the end of the First World War, at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, we mark our remembrance for all those Australians who served in that war and since, in war and in peacekeeping duties. It provides a, a solemn and a sombre moment for us to come together, to pause and to reflect. This year, in many instances, we'll not be physically together, but we've already learned across the challenges of 2020 that although we cherish the traditions and the gatherings of our remembrance ceremonies, we can in fact remember together, although apart. We know that we can remember anywhere, anytime, and in a multitude of ways, without in any way diminishing the sincerity of our thoughts or the depth of the gratitude that we share. Indeed, many other remembrance activities have had to be marked this year in novel ways. But such necessity is nothing new to the many hundreds of thousands who've served our country. Those who have had to, without any choice at all, mark their remembrances in the trenches, on battlefields, in foreign villages, or whilst held as prisoners of war. In fact, whose own birthdays or anniversaries, and the special occasions too of their loved ones, have had to pass without celebration. We know that the men and women of our Australian Defence Force have made those and many other sacrifices to deliver peace, to keep us safe, and to ensure that our ideals have been protected. Many, of course, have made the ultimate sacrifice on our behalves, and so today we remember them. We show our remembrance in different ways, through our silence, whether alone or in small groups, through the wearing of a poppy on our lapel, 
by attending virtual events or other events, or simply in the private contemplation of our thoughts. In all or in any of those ways, we say thank you. Thank you to each one who served, just as we say thank you to all those who serve for us right now, lest we forget. In Flanders Fields will be recited by Shrine Young Ambassador Liana henderson Dreif. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Exaudi Youth Choir will now sing Going Home.
Thank you, Exaudi Youth Choir. What a beautiful note on which to conclude today's Remembrance Day service. We thank the Victorian Government for supporting today's service and the 2nd 10th Lightfield Battery, Royal Australian Artillery for providing the gun detachment. Victoria Police, the Shrine Guard and the Royal Australian Navy Brass Quintet. We thank leading seaman Tracy Kennedy for her vocals, bugler able seaman Luke Glasson and the Royal Australian Air Force for their support today. We also thank Shrine Young Ambassador Liana henderson Drife for her participation. While we could not welcome you to the Shrine today, we thank you for coming together to pause and reflect on this very special day. You're invited to join us again at 11.50 this morning when we go behind the scenes to reveal the science and ingenuity behind the ray of light's passage across the stone of remembrance. Finally, in joining us today, you have participated in giving remembrance. Thank you for your support.